What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys and talking about the Cam Ranger 2. Now you guys know I've been a big fan of the first one and I've been using it for so many years. I bought this for I think $300 like five years ago. And when I first came across this product, um, I bought it for the intention that it was not made for. Um, it's made mainly to, ac to access and um, remotely um, control your camera. Um, but I decided to use it to just give my clients an iPad and have them see the images as I shoot it. And I fell in love with the product right away. I could never find a product that was uh, nearly as good at, or quick. I tried the Wi-Fi cards and um, it was just too slow. My D850's built-in Wi-Fi, which is a relatively new feature, it also barely works. It, it wouldn't connect to the iPad properly and it was just slow and drained the battery on my camera. It was a, it was a real headache. So Camranger made this product that um, really worked out for me. And the, I did have a lot of issues with the first one um, and they addressed most of those issues if not all of them in the newer one so that's why I uh, reached out to them and I begged them to send me the new one uh, before it even got released. So I've been using this for about a month now. I used, on an, uh, used it on a bunch of photo shoots and I want to talk about the improvements they made on the new one. So my issues with the old one was that it would keep disconnecting from the app. Um, maybe it was a wire connection, maybe it was the device itself. The first one was, a this is a, a modified Wi-Fi router, um, so this product was not even manufactured or made by Camranger. The new one, however, is not a modified router, but it is a product that they made from scratch, and it has a ton of new options. So the first one is that um, the mounting options for this is uh, substantially better. Before, there was no way to really mount it, so I would just put it in my pocket or I would just tape it to my camera. Um, the new one has this um, little uh, hot shoe mounting device um, that just screws into the bottom here. So you just screw it in and um, it just sits in the hot shoe on the camera. Before, people would use Velcro and uh, attach to the hot shoe that way. Um, I so this is pretty cool that they added this. So I just simply put that on and then slide this right into the top here. And then I take the wire and it comes with a couple short wires and just plugs right into the camera and you plug it right into the top. So that is the first thing that they improved. The next thing is that they added a Wi-Fi um, card slot here and this is the coolest thing probably so if you have like the Nikon Z6 or uh, Z7 or you haven't even considered those cameras because it only has uh, one um, memory card and it doesn't have dual card slots this thing right here will solve that issue because that memory card acts as a second memory card slot for your camera so you put an SD card in there and your raw files go directly to that uh, Wi-Fi card, uh, to that uh, SD card, and also to the card inside your camera. So this is another way to back up your images. They also have another mounting option right over here that basically just sits on the L bracket of the camera, and then you can put the camera ranger on the side. I think that uh, will make the camera too heavy and bulky, so I didn't even consider hooking it up that way. Um, the next thing is that this thing will go uh, like three times further, I think they said. I didn't uh, really try it um, to like 500 feet. I, my clients are usually standing right next to me, so I didn't try it that far. But, I, but they did make this five times faster than the old one. And I'm going to show you guys right now. Um, I'm going to connect it to there and, and show you guys just how quick it goes. Uh, another thing that people have been asking me if this works with Sony or Fuji. Yes, it does. This works with Canon, Nikon, Sony, and Fuji. So most of the cameras out there it works with. Another cool thing that they added um, is that the new one comes with a new app also. It's called the Cam Ranger 2. And in the new app, it has a bunch of features. I'm not going to go through all the features. I don't even know most of the features. But one cool thing is that it has something called Quick Raw. So Obviously you're shooting RAW, but I used to shoot RAW plus JPEG and only send the JPEG to the iPad. Now with the quick RAW feature, you could just shoot in RAW and um, the, the app basically just takes a, extracts the JPEG file from the RAW and it shows that to you. So let's go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to hit connect. There we go. And it's going to ask me if I want to load my last session. I'm going to click cancel. And let me take a couple quick shots over here to show you how quick they load. Let's wait for it. All right, there we go. Kind of dark in my office. 
but you see how quick it's loading. Now obviously if you're gunning the camera, um, it'll take a minute for it to catch up with you. Let me show you um, how quick it'll go if you really gun the camera. So I'm going to put this into high FPS. Let's see how quick it loads. Take a look at the top. You see how quick it's bringing those in? So it does a pretty good job at uh, keeping up with you. You can see how much quicker it is than the last one. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is that the old one had the um, USB um, coming out of the end. And I kind of like that because I was able to slide this into my pocket and the wire would come out of the top of my pocket. With the new Cam Ranger, they put that, um, they put the USB over here on the side. So if I were to run a long wire and put this in my pocket, I wouldn't be able to do that because the wire comes out of the side of the device. So I can't slide it into my pocket this way. So that is one thing that um, the new one has um, that I am not too crazy about. I would have much rather come over here, but they probably did it because of the antennas um, because you don't even have to use the antennas up. You could keep them down. They did, um, you do have this um, RJ45 networking um, connection here you have the reset over here uh, on this side you have your power button at the top you have LEDs just like the old one showing you all the different statuses um, this does have uh, two Wi-Fi bands it has 2.4 and 5 gigahertz um, and you could choose whichever one you want um, but the coolest thing about this is I used to have to come home from a photo shoot and the old one um, it was quite difficult to take it off over here to um, switch batteries. So I had two batteries, one as backup, and I have to take off the back over here, which as you can see, I'm having a difficult time doing, in order to take out that flat battery and put in the second battery. Because the only way to charge this at night um, is to actually take out the battery and um, plug this into the wall. With the new one, it comes with this really cool double charger for two batteries. So you get yourself two batteries and these, these are the batteries, nice round ones made by Cam Ranger. Boom. You just slide that in and, the, and you can put two of them and the top shows you the status of the charging for both batteries. Really cool. So I hope you guys found that helpful. I know that there isn't any reviews on the, on the new Cam Ranger yet so hopefully this helped you out. I do use this for a very unique uh, purpose. So I, I know that I didn't answer your questions um, if you're, let's say, a landscape photographer or something else and you want to know the settings in the new one. But if you're using this for the same purpose I am, to simply let your clients uh, carry the iPad on their neck and uh, review images as you shoot, then this is, I believe, the best product on the market right now. Um, I have this uh, OtterBox on it right over here and my clients just put it on their neck like this they carry it around and um, as the images come in they just review them and they really like this uh, being able to do this and it really helps me too because then the clients are not hovering over my shoulders looking at my camera I hope you found this helpful if you have any questions leave them in the comments and uh, either I'll answer them or I'll uh, ask the people over at Cam Ranger to ask answer them Cool fact, Cam Ranger is made by a husband and wife. They make this product in their uh, basement. Their name is Dave and Melissa. They're really awesome people and um, really helpful. I had some issues when I first got the product and uh, they answered my questions right away and uh, took care of the issues. So um, I'm just happy to support them and uh, use their products and I hope you guys found this helpful. Peace and love.